Nobody move. No, nobody move. If I see any of you animated even for a slight little second, I'm gonna pop and scotch and pop, pop, pop every single one of you. Oh my god! Oh, are you <laughs> <laughs> oh hi everyone i want you all to have a warm welcome to whatever the fuck this is how 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 do you completely fuck this up like, look at it. Look, look at the colors. Look, look at the character designs. Look, look, the dialogue, the, the world, the, the combat, the, her. Uh, oh God, her. Like how, how do you? Uh, it's mind-boggling. I mean, it has takeout lines, but I have takeout lines, and, and but it's like we're fucking made for one another. Oh jeez. This fucking twink is my spirit animal. Like Pinche to Madre or whatever my uncles used to say, you fucking. So I conducted an interview to figure out just why everything is so fucked. Yeah, you know, it's, it's always extraordinarily hard when you have to make decisions like that. Um, you know, I'll go back to what I was saying about the industry, and when we looked at those fundamental trends... One eternity later. Um, but really right now, for us and our teams, our focus is on help them through this hard transition. Ma'am, that answer was so full of shit, it needed pronouns to identify itself. Yeah, no amount of changing your pronouns can make you better at your job, now can- And you! Haha! <laughs> Coming for you, n- Well, 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 if it isn't Matt b b b Matt, Matt, but you, you, your, your name, your legal government name is Matt Fucking Booty. How old is this default luck in America now? He is 50 years old. How you gonna live for that long and not a single one of those seconds was used to maybe, just maybe, reconsider getting a new fucking name? <gasps> because my fucking booty! Oh my god. Booty! B booty! Booty, his, his name is Matt Booty everyone. There really is a Mr. Booty working at Xbox right now, as we speak, right now. As in right, mm hmm mm hmm okay. What do you mean people don't use these old ass phones anymore? You were not bullied enough at school. Hey Matt Booty, I guess you could say you suck ass at your job, huh? Hello there. <laughs> Sorry dude. Hold on Mr. Booty, how about you get your head out of your ass first before you start shutting down studios that clearly are making the games you want to be made. <laughs> but then you shut them down, then why did you shut them down? Why? What? Just because they wanted a few years? To make a game? A few years should be minimum anyway to make any sort of game. Don't you? Don't you? Uh, you're you're f 
fucking name is Matt Booty. What am I expecting? How does your name go from generic ass American names next to Ryan, William, Jack, Jason, John? Hi, hello, como estas? And who could possibly forget Michael? I'm sorry to all the Michaels out there watching this. You were really in the womb for 8 months and all your parents could come up with is a placeholder name. <clears throat> to absolute gold! Hey Matt, your last name is so good you got the entire LGTB plus community parading on it. You're gonna sh** rainbows all throughout June! Matt ass! Matt butt cheeks! Matt gyat! <laughs> Matt gyat, that's not even in the script. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even an abbreviation of the word or something that sounds like it like like Matt booty with a u instead of two o's and a second t for some english written fucking reason like it's like Matt buddy it's just straight up booty welcome everybody welcome everybody i mean uh Everybody welcome Mr. Booty on stage to announce the next fucking disappointment that spent five years in development. Hooray! Ah! So anyway, yeah, I don't even know what you do other than being a stupid little boomer. Imagine being fired by Mr. Booty. Mr. Left and Right Butt Ass Cheeks. Bubble butt, little person. Anyway, I, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about you. Your name is Matt Booty! And you feel spend there, sir, sir. You know, the CEO of being built like an ice cream. You really are a master manipulator, aren't ya? With your infectious positive attitude. Altitude, what? With your infectious positive attitude and your cool uncle energy. I mean, you brought a dead console back to life just to kill its grandchild. By the way, my Xbox 360 lasted for almost a decade, and the Xbox One broke down after 3 years! Games would take longer to load, they would run slower, it's so shit! But this? Just like a pyramid having an existential crisis, what the fuck is the point? What is the point of putting the Xbox on steroids, giving it the knuckles treatment, if all the games have to accommodate to the Series X stepsister, the Series S? Dark sh** naming! I don't know where I was going with that delivery. How is it that these consoles code names were Xbox Scorpio and Xbox Scarlet? Those names are 10 times better than their real names! Sure, there's like 8 billion existential meat sacks and these names are better than that one person named Chapol, eh? I refuse to believe there's more of you f**ks. But no, really, how you managed to f that up as well. How you gonna make a console with serious in its name and not take it seriously? Let alone make two of them! What's the point of all these flop and power and shit when the games that are gonna be built for it have to be built for a weaker console? All I'm saying is you're not really powerful if you need to share it. Get, get, get what I'm saying? You, you, we, we, you get and you don't. I slammed the table, I wanted to slap you, but I cannot make a slap sound effect. Ow! I slapped myself. Why did I just slap my hands? There we go. <laughs> See, I did the thing, I did the edit. And why would I buy this rectangle, or its white girl equivalent, if the games made for them are gonna be on PC anyway? Good job, Phil, and micro, micro penis! When in reality, you're just a corporation's cock sleeve meant to slip in all the money from the idiots. Like me. I used to really believe in you, considering how you managed to save the Xbox Uno after its reveal. That masterful dipped in rotten cheese reveal that killed any games that were supposed to be built for this flat edgy domino. The Xbox 360 was masterful. Besides the red ring of go fuck yourself, the games made for this thing were amazing. Amazing, I say. Amazing, hombre. <coughs> hey, 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 at least, at least this aging, limbless hexagon has Sunset Overdrive.
That's actually not this. I think that was a pretty good game. It didn't take itself seriously, a little cringe, and yet it still somehow looks and plays better than Halo Infinite and its infinite dog shit lighting. So you didn't shut down the company who wasted your money. You would do that yourself with COD later on anyway, but, but that's besides the point. A company who has no doubt cost you raggedy penguins many headaches. But instead of shutting down that shitty company, petty company, you shut down the company who actually made something original in their first try! You had it! It's, it's almost the same amount of talent that this box of eggs was built upon with the original Halo game. And you just threw that away! The Xbox I grew up with is dead. Everything I loved as a kid either rots away, gets cancelled, or gets a shitty reboot. Rebooty! Fuck you, man! And I know that, hey, buddy, that's just part of life. And to that I say... What life, you middle-aged bitch? Why is it that the people who say, oh, hey, that's just life, or it is what it is, or some dumb shit like that, never got what they want? Well, 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 it is what it is, huh? Well, excuse me, badass! How is it that you blame life itself when it was the asinine management from these idiots? Why is Warner Bros. Smash Brothers, Ass Ass and Ass Creed, Call of Cock, Battle of Fumble the Back, Literal Halo? Shit happens, oh yeah, an old fuck in a penguin suit making brain rot decisions happened. Just like their erectile dysfunction, they're out of touch, out of touch with everything. We'll never get that Fortnite money. Get it through your heads. This playable PG Hunger Games defined an entire generation. Do you not realize that? I mean, hey, hey, hey. You wanna feel old? If you were 11 years old when the original Fortnite came out, as of July of this year, you would be 18 years old. Fortnite kids aren't even kids anymore, man. They're getting older. And we're getting even, even older. How crazy is that? After all this mental torture of that child you enjoying things, look me in the eye and tell me we don't deserve better. Enough. It's enough. Always remember why. Damn, that got sentimental real fucking quick. So, yeah, get non copyrighted nerfed. With a PH. Yeah, bunch of ice cold twats. Penguins are just fat swans with autism. Videos over! Bang, 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 and motherfucking bang! Subscribe and I'll give you more sentimental advice I don't follow.